Alright, hey everyone, welcome to the latest installment in my Patreon Lessons series. Um, this week I got a request for My Pizza My World's cover of Bruce Springsteen's I'm on Fire. Um, before I dive in, if you are interested in requesting a lesson, whether a banjo song, guitar tune, or a technique, or uh, it could even just be like thoughts about uh, arranging songs or singing, whatever you'd like, um, you can head to my Patreon, sign up, and make a request. I aim to make one to two lessons a month. Um, you can find uh, the link to my Patreon probably somewhere down there or somewhere up there, somewhere around wherever you're watching this video. Um, and yeah, head over there and make a request. Um, I won't talk too long about it, so I'm going to dive into this tune. This is uh, I'm on Fire. <laughs> Somewhere around My Pizza, My World's cover of Bruce Springsteen's I'm on Fire. Um, uh, just so you know, if you're trying to play along, I am tuned down three half steps. So that is an open E chord. It's kind of like I'm playing one of those Pete Seeger long banjos. Um, so I'm going to refer to strings, though, if I do, because who knows. Uh, I'm going to refer to strings as if I'm playing an open G, though, just because that's how we're used to talking about uh, banjo strings, and I'm not that good at translating the notes in my head super quick. So, um, the cool thing about this tune is that the banjo part pretty much follows the melody. So, if you are not sure if you're playing it right, just try singing that melody line and seeing if it sounds right. So, for example, um, that uh, we have a... Uh, tell me, tell me now, baby, is he good to you? Can he do the things? That I do oh no I can take you higher Oh 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 I'm on I'm on fire So that kinda informs the whole melody so um uh, I wanted to add as well, uh, there is a tab that accompanies this video, so wherever the link was to like my Patreon or whatever description of this video, um, you should be able to find a tab to go along with this so that you can follow along play along and figure it out as well. I know sometimes tabs help me a little more than videos do. So to kind of dive in, um, a right hand pattern that you're really going to want to have for this song, um, and I think it's it's my favorite syncopation with the bum ditty, is the bum ditty drop thumb ditty. So all that is is a normal bum ditty and then one drop thumb ditty. So we get one, two, and, and two. kind of the pattern for any filler in this tune so um, unless the melody kind of tells us to do something different that's kind of what we're gonna do so the song kind of opens up with uh, that part with a uh, one uh, uh, bum ditty drop thumb ditty on the uh, oh, high D string all right so we do that fret the second fret of that high D string and do a bum ditty and then open so we're basically going uh, second fret open and then down one string and when we go down one string we're going to do another bum ditty drop thumb ditty 
do our little open and we got is uh, bow and ditty, drop thumb ditty, two, open, open, drop thumb. So. All right, and that's the hey little girl is your day home, baby, go away. And now we're going to slide up. We're going to go down one more string to that uh, G string. We're going to slide up to the 4th fret, which you'll notice is actually the same note as that open string we were just playing, um, which is uh, just a nice banjo trick that you should have, um, where you slide up into the same note as above, so you get two notes ringing out, and uh, that's part of what gives you uh, some of those classic banjo so sounds, like in like Cripple Creek. <laughs> Anyway, so um, we've done our little beginning. Now we're gonna slide into the fourth fret and do a bum ditty. And now we're gonna take our index finger and pull off on the second fret and do a bum ditty. So side bum ditty, pull off. That's a good little trick there because that'll get you primed up for also playing Cripple Creek. Uh, but anyway, instead of doing Cripple Creek, we're going to slide up to the fourth fret, hold off second fret, and we're going to land in a C chord and play that bass note. And do a bum ditty, drop thumb ditty. And I like to do the, I'm playing the low note on the bum ditty and then going up to the open G string with the thumb. We just do one bum ditty, drop thumb ditty. Um, so to get there, we just did. string and do a bum ditty and we're going to take that middle finger and we're going to bring it down to the G string on the second fret and we're going to go second fret open and we're going to land in our E minor chord so our ring finger should stay put put our middle finger back down on the low um, second fret and we're going to hit that open B string so we end up getting one more time, we'll slide up. And in that E minor shape, we're just going to do two um, bum ditty drop thumb ditty. So. take us to our turnaround, the oh, 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 I'm on fire. Uh, you play the low note. Uh, you, it's a C chord, sorry, C chord. So we'll play the second fret on the low D string. Bum ditty. And then we'll do open on the G string. And now we're just going to take our middle finger. You can leave your, um, your index and ring fingers where they are in their C shape. We're going to hammer that um, middle finger onto the second fret of the open G string. So, and do a bum ditty, drop thumb ditty, and then G. So to give you that uh, turn around one more time. I was watching the My Pizza My World do it. Um, they were doing that turn. So that turnaround is C D G, standard turnaround. I believe that he was playing like a C major chord, and then to a D major or like a D five chord. But 
I kind of like the when you hammer on with the middle finger, you end up with this kind of funky. It's like a D, so almost a D seven, but you got the uh, also the C shape. I don't I don't know the technical name for non-standard chords, but um, you end up more with a. Um, I like how that sounds. So anyway, uh, let's try putting all of that together, and we get... part of that song that's a little funky and you just need to listen and get the timing for it is this little bridge the somebody took a knife baby edgy and dull and carved a stitch in valley in the middle of my skull and that's like a little bit different than the rest of the song um it's just a c chord to a g chord to a little e minor chord um and um all of that I can say, one, you gotta listen, get the timing for it, but that C chord falls on some body, on the body of some body. And as long as you hit that, I believe you'll be able to find the timing for it. So you're kind of vamping on your G chord before it comes in. It's I <laughs> see it's hard. I, I have a hard time with this sometimes. It's like somebody took a knife, baby, edgy and dull, and caught a sixteen valley in the middle of my skull. And then, so the E minor comes in on skull, in the middle of my skull. And then we jump right back into our verse with the, um, the wake up in the middle of the night verse. Um, so, yeah, I think that that should just about get you through this tune. Um, it's uh, definitely, you know, it's pretty cool when you see a pop song, uh, when you hear it on the banjo and it really resembles, it has a lot of these like old time characteristics. Like um, I know that the techniques that I, the licks that I use in this tune, uh, I can like name the three songs that I learned uh, some of these different licks for. So like the opening makes me think of an Ola Bella Reed song and uh, the middle makes me think of Cripple Creek. And at the very end, my little funky uh, D7 chord um, is something I learned in the way I learned how to play Tom Dooley, which I'm sure Bruce Springsteen did a cover of Tom Dooley somewhere. Um, uh, that Pete Seeger sessions or whatever. But anyway, it's pretty cool when you see uh, 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 pieces of different songs come together and help you learn a new song. So, yeah, I hope that this helps. Uh, this is a pretty fun song. Um, I feel like you gotta be a pretty cool, pretty smooth uh, person to pull this song off, and Bruce obviously is, and My Pizza My World obviously is, and you probably are too, so I, I hope uh, if you throw something together, always feel free to throw it up on the internet and tag me in it, because I'd love to see anything that you guys put together based on these lessons. Um, if you'd like to request a lesson, uh, uh, like I said before, you can head to my Patreon, sign up, and make a request. I'll put together a lesson for you, and yeah, I appreciate you tuning in. I hope you stay healthy and stay safe, and uh, that you keep on playing music, and uh, uh, that you stay well, and thanks for tuning in.